I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> the Cowboys signed K. Ron Brown. He's six foot one, 196 pounds. He was undrafted out of Akron to the Jets. Played one game, and he generated five tackles in that game. I don't see any pass breakups. I don't see anything at all when I try to pull up his records or what have you. So I'm in the dark with this one, Cowboy Nation. And meal is better served hot, right? So I'm serving you guys this meal cold. I, I don't know nothing about K. Ron Brown, whether or not it's, he, he's a more of a zone cornerback or a uh, press man cover type of cornerback whether he got good speed or not it's not a lot of information out there so I'm completely in the dark with this one shout out to the Cowboys organization for uh, keeping everything on the hush hush with him he signed a two year deal with the Cowboys so they like what they are able to see out of that and the roster can only be filled with 90 so in four more days, if they do decide to sign Malik Hooker, they're going to have to release somebody. Or they might like K. Ron Brown more. And two different type of positions, by the way. From what I've read, he, he plays more of a cornerback. There's a K. Ron Brown. And the NFL, they took away the game pass because they're doing some reconstructions over there. So I can't give you guys no all 22 and I'm not finna type in his name and pull up highlights to show you guys that. No, 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 no. We're not finna go watch just highlights. I'm not gonna do it in that fashion. But the Cowboys signed K. Ron Brown from Akron and it's a complete surprise. Now I know I know a lot of people going to be saying, see, look at the Cowboys. This is what they do. <laughs> I know. I can hear you guys now, you know, but this is the Cowboys, and this is what they are doing with this particular team. Now, there are two phases of training camp. Training camp designed for you to learn, to pick up the system, to make your mistakes have fun out there and to leave training camp healthy on one end you evaluate the player from what they can become on the other end you got to understand that's the second phase that this is just practice and this is training camp you are training this is not a live game so just like in the event you have a fake grenade, you throw the grenade out there, and you wanting one of your guys to land on the grenade. This is not a live or a real grenade. This is you practicing the technique. So when preseason hit, or when the actual NFL season hit, it will be live then. They will be really trying to tackle you, knock you down. They're trying to make the team, dare I say. Now, of course, the blue and white game, you can say, yeah, that's a little live ammo there, but there's still ways where this thing is scripted out and these sorts of things. But K. Ron Brown is who the Dallas Cowboys signed for a two-year contract. So um, I'm in the dark with this one. I don't have any information as far as the film breakdown or evaluations. I only got height and measurables. And Wikipedia don't even have a lot of information on it. So if you saw how no K. Ron Brown, if you've seen a majority of his film tape and then assessments and these sorts, hit me up. Let me know. Because <laughs> I'm in the dark, baby. You know, I'm blind over here. Got the... Stephen won the vision of this one, Cowboy Nation. But the reality is, and I don't have the stone, is that this guy got to get out there and make it. He got to outperform Reggie Robinson. He got to outperform Nation Wright. He got to outperform Boss Man Fat, which is Kevin Joseph, by the way. Jordan Lewis, Anthony Brown, Israel Mukramu. 
Tyler Cole, all of the DBs, basically. If you really want to get to the nuts and bolts of it, although he will be playing the cornerback role. The Monte KZ, the name just goes on and on. So this is what they do, baby. The Cowboys leaving us in the dark over here as fans. Oh, and another thing. Let's not forget that we are fans at the end of the day. We support this team, we root for this team from a fan perspective. We're not analysts. We're content creators, by the way. So uh, let's not dive too much into this Cowboy Nation. We're not getting paid by the Jones family. They're not sending us a check. But if if they want to, you know, (laughs) my business address is in the description box. Please, please send me some, Jerry Wayne Jones. Uh, I wouldn't wouldn't mind a little coins here and there, but neither here nor there. Let's figure this thing out, Cowboy Nation, uh, one way or another. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns about K. Ron Brown. And post me your concerns about Malik Hooker. Will this thing still be a go? Or maybe he just didn't pass his physical. Maybe that's the situation, the scenario. Who knows? We're in the dark. This meal is served cold right now. Better serve warm or hot. But there's no hot place I'm giving you today (laughs) on this one. Uh, There will be more and more content uh, that will be out soon and shortly. Be sure to hit that like button. Share this content. Subscribe for more and more information. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Let's go. DC for life. Right? Shout out to K. Ron Brown. Take advantage of the opportunity. Grab hold to it. Don't let it go. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen from here. Thank you.